Okay, so now let's have a look at how we edit our mobile template in uh, the Movie Rise editor. So first of all, we need to open the site. So we click on Import Movie Rise Site. And then we browse to our package folder and in the project files we click the move up project movie rise and click open okay so now we have it's open so we can name it so let's uh, call it movie demo Okay, so there's our template which we've uh, currently got online. So we can now edit obviously the, the normal pages just as we normally would by changing the um, changing the settings for the home page, etc. But the most important thing is how do we add a new members page? Okay, so we want to edit one of the existing members pages. So let's go to the members news okay so with the members news now as you can see we have the block at the top which will appear if the user is not logged in then we have a security block here which you mustn't remove because anything below this first security block which is a um, code block anything that appears below that will not appear if the uh, user is not logged in uh, instead the block at the top will appear um, and then if we go further down you'll see there's another block at the bottom here which is the end of the secure area so anything between those two blocks will not appear if the user is not logged in but it will appear if the user is logged in and this area will, will uh, not appear if they're not logged in so then it's just a simple case of editing your um, blocks as normal so instead of the latest news you could have this as um, whatever you want to call it really um, news and whatever change your image as you would normally do in um, Mobirize and if you want to replace the block or add a new block you just simply do, do as you would normally do you take your block and drag it to where you want it but make sure that it is between the two security blocks so now when that is viewed online the um, if the user is not logged in they will see the top section and if they are logged in they will see everything between those two security blocks now if you want something to appear whether they're logged in or not like your footer and everything as I say it just has to be outside the security blocks so if you wanted you could have say another message um, where are we uh, we could have another message before the um, the top block and then that will appear whether or not they're logged in so they would get this and that if they're not logged in and they would get this and everything between the two security blocks um, if they are logged in I hope that makes sense um, so that's how we uh, we add new blocks to an existing page or remove blocks if you wish um, so we could take that one out again Let's just 
put that back so we're back to where we were okay so that's that's how you add or edit your the existing pages that we've already been created for you if you want to add a new members page then it's simple you just go to one of the pages like this one here and you clone the page and you can give it a name whatever you like um, but it must be a PHP extension so we'll call that members page for say that's uh, not sorry we need just members page for PHP and we call that members page for Okay, don't change any of the code etc in the head code etc so we've now got our new members page and then all we need to do is just replace everything that we want replaced in uh, between the two blocks so we could just add a new block here uh, we put that one in there and we'll take that block out and we'll take that block out so there we are now we've got our new page members page four um, and what's between the two security blocks will show if they're logged in and what's outside the security box will show if they're not logged in and then obviously we would need to add a members um, page 4 in here so we just add that simply as members page 4 and the page name which we just created it's there so and then we can move that up so it comes under the other members pages so now that will flow through to all the pages so if we now go back to the index page as you can see um, that is now in the members page as well so it's now full up all the way through so it's as simple as that just when you're adding your members pages just make sure that you either clone an existing page if you want to add a new page or you just play with the blocks in between the two security areas um, for the protected content. Your dream.